Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Monday, the third week of Advent, and our morning prayer begins on page 146 today in our prayer books. Let's join together. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son came to visit us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hark, a thrilling voice is sounding. Christ is near, it seems to say. Cast away the works of darkness, O ye children of the day. Wakened by the solemn warning, from the darkness we arise. Christ, the sun of all dispelling, shines upon the morning skies. Lo, the Lamb so long expected comes with pardon down from heaven. Let us haste with tears of sorrow, one and all to be forgiven. So when next he comes in glory, wrapping all the world in fear, may he with his mercy shield us, and with words of love draw near. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won his mighty arm in victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory. He has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout its praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord. For the Lord is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. Psalm 98 Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from Isaiah chapter 2. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. It will be raised above the other hills and people from all over the world will stream there to worship. People from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God. There he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord's teachings will go out from Zion. His word will go out from Jerusalem. Behold, God has come to save me. I will trust in him. I will not be afraid. Yahweh Elohim is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. In that wonderful day you will sing, thank Yahweh, praise his name. Tell the nations what he has done. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praise to Yahweh, for he has done wonderful things. Let this be known throughout the world. 
Let all the people of Jerusalem shout and sing with joy, for great is he who lives among you, the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord. Be merciful and hear our prayer. King of peace, you beat swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Put an end to strife and grant us your peace. Prince of justice, you vindicate the poor. Bring, bring just judgment for the meek of the earth. Lord of truth, your ways are not our ways. Deepen the faith of your people. Judge of the peoples, you will come upon the clouds with power and glory. Grant us the grace of your mercy. Redeemer of the world, you save your people and rescue them. Let your light shine upon those who have died. Father, grant us peace this day, I pray. Bring healing to broken families. Bring help to the poor and the needy. Watch over the homeless this day and grant them your grace. Watch over the girls walking the streets. Let them find you in the midst of their work. Lord, be merciful to us. We are so needy at this time. Grant us your peace and your grace and show us how to love one another with the love of Christ. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant, O Lord our God, that we may await with eager hearts the coming of Christ our Savior, so that when he knocks, he will find us watching, praying, and singing his praises. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God Order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining in prayer this morning. What a blessing it is to start the day early in prayer while it's still quiet and nothing is interfering or interacting with our prayer time. I pray God blesses you this day and keeps you in all things. And may you be a blessing to those around you. God bless. Amen.